welcome back to part two of the BH1 where I pick up the Sigma 10 by 18 lens. I'm kind of in a rush, so let's get to it. Uh, card. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Have a good one. All right. So I got the lens in my bag right now. I'm on my way back to my car, and we'll check it out. All right, and here it is right here. And there you go. Voila. Oh wow, that is very sturdy. Holy shit. Damn, that's pretty cool. So obviously this camera is more for pretty much night shots, but the detail on this, as you can see on my face, it's pretty insane actually. I love this thing. Holy shit. But yeah, this is the lens. Obviously if I go up close, it'll blur some of the background, but sometimes it probably won't. If it's too dark, this would be the lens, but if it's like really too bright and the aperture is kicking in too much, obviously it'll auto adjust as it keeps shooting, but this is a really nice lens and I might use this more for night shots and pretty much night vlogging. So we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, that was the Sigma 10 by 18 lens and pretty much I'm, I like it. Uh, the only thing difficult about it is the um, the sunroof cap or whatever. I don't know how to call it. It's pretty much a little difficult to put on because I'm so used to um, sliding it to the right or to the left to take it out. In any case, if I'm doing darker shots, whatever it be my basement with the lights off, then yeah, this would be the perfect lens. So if anything, I am now in a rush to get to work. So I pretty much got to go. However, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in South Korea.